Today, we wanna to share with you some information about propagation and we're calling it success with cuttings. We're gonna talk, talk about the various stages of propagation up to the point of ship and give you some tips and tricks to make your crop the best ever. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about what we're gonna do before the cuttings or URCs, unrooted cuttings, arrive. This is really when it, it's very critical to do a lot of pre-planning because once the cuttings get here, it may be a little too late. So let's take a look at some of those key things. You see here I have sanitation of the facility and prep before arrival, so sanitation is key, but so are a lot of the physical and maintenance aspects of your greenhouse. Take a look at this picture. This was an inflator fan for a double poly greenhouse. When I walked into this greenhouse, there was condensation everywhere, which of course leads to botrytis and other problems in propagation. We looked up, noticed the fan had become separated. So here's one of those key examples of where, hey, just a little preventative maintenance could have gone a long way to happy, healthy cuttings and liners in this case. Other things to look at, sanitation, as I mentioned, is critical. This particular grower is using a granular product uh, to help control the algae, but I can't stress enough how important sanitation is. Anything your plants might come into contact with, benches, carts, um, even though they don't come in direct contact with the floors, it's still critical because that floor will harbor diseases. It also harbors a lot of insect pests. If you will sanitize your floors thoroughly, and we really like an acidified soap cleaning, then come back in with a quaternary ammonium before the season starts, you will eliminate a lot of fungus gnat and thrips pressure as well. And then there are products such as this granular, use in between crops as you move crops in and out, for a quick algae control makes it safe and reduces your pest problems. Also take a look at some other mechanical things. This happened to be a drain pipe for a gutter on a gutter connected greenhouse. Notice the connection boot is uh, damaged here. Probably got hit with a cart or something like that, which is not uncommon. However, when you looked at below the, at the ground, just below this connection, it was soaking wet. And also right there were tons of shore flies and fungus gnats. So again, a little preventative maintenance and regular maintenance checks throughout the season as well. We mentioned sanitation of the floor, but let's talk about sanitation for you and your workers. Having stations to wash in between sections of the greenhouse or in between greenhouses is critical. We humans are some of the best vectors for disease and pests throughout our greenhouse operation. So take time to wash up in between facilities. And also at this particular facility, uh, one of our production facilities in Central America, notice they're wearing lab coats and there's some lab coats hanging there to the left of the sinks and wash stations. They change outer wear before entering, or before entering a new greenhouse to help prevent that passage of pests and diseases. Hey, we wouldn't be a good prep for the greenhouse if we didn't talk about our water quality. Have we tested it recently? And let's also talk about those fertilizer injectors. Have they been tuned up? Are they injecting the right amount? That's critical before we get started because it's easier to prevent a problem than it is to try and fix it later. And with our industry moving more and more towards biological control agents, think about this and have you got what you need ordered in advance? The key to most of your biological uh, disease and pest control is prevention. So you've got to have these things ordered well in advance, and we've got to be proactive and do that ahead of time. It's not like the days of old where we were able to see a pest, come back and spray it and be done. This is all preventative. The other thing let's talk about, let's talk about your people. Are they ready to go? Have we got them motivated? Do they understand what the needs are? Do they understand the, the critical aspects? And we'll go through some of those critical aspects, but make sure they're ready. Also make sure they're well taken care of. Are their workstations appropriate? Do they have uh, maybe fatigue mats or the right size of stool if they're sticking on a, on a sticking line? Also think about them and their break times. Uh, you know, they need good good rest to be able to get out there and perform good work. So make sure they're well taken care of and got their breaks scheduled appropriately.